Hello, my name is Daniel Lee and I teach adult education at Arkansas State University in Newport. And today I wanted to talk about the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Now this will be on the social studies portion of the GED test and I wanted to go over it with you today because I feel it is important for you to know in general and it is also important for you to know to pass the test. So the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution and also the First Amendment in what's called the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. All right, so let's so let's read the First Amendment. It says Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So what does all that mean? That means we get five freedoms from the First Amendment. We have the freedom to assemble so we can gather and talk about anything. You can gather and go bowling with your friends. You can gather and talk about any subject. You can assemble with other like-minded people. You have the freedom of religion. You can practice any religion you want. You can also practice no religion if you want. That is the beauty thing about the, the First Amendment and also these freedoms is they give you the freedom to do it and they also give you the freedom not to do it. If you do not like something the government is doing, you can petition. You can go to the government and say, hey, I don't like this certain aspect of what you're doing. And you can try to get laws changed. There is the freedom of the press. Here in America, it's... People like to say we have free press. There are hundreds of newspapers. And it is up to you to choose the newspaper or the news source that you like. And you have the freedom to do that. You also have the freedom of speech. America is the only country in the world that has freedom of speech laws that are ingrained in our Constitution. So you can say anything you want to say, short of inciting violence. Now, obviously, you can't go into a crowded Walmart or a crowded theater and yell fire and cause a panic in a, in a stampede and then expect to say, hey, I have the freedom of speech. You would be arrested for that. But anything short of that, and you have the freedom. So on the GED test, usually they'll ask you, questions about the First Amendment this way. They'll show you pictures like this. This is a picture from the 19, early 1900s, and it shows women protesting that they do not have the right to vote. Here is a picture from the 1960s showing African Americans. African Americans were not treated equally, that did not have the same rights as everyone else. And you can see these African Americans here. But also you can see white Americans. So many, many people did not saw the injustices that were being done to African Americans in the 1960s. So they'll give, show you these pictures and you'll have to click and drag the, which one of these five freedoms corresponds with these pictures. Now, obviously, speech would be one. The right to assemble would be the other. And the right to petition the government. So religion and press really don't have anything to do with these particular pictures. It's just the freedom of speech, the freedom to assemble, and the freedom to petition the government. I hope this helps study the First Amendment because it will be on the test.